this illustration is describing about average speed in a rectilinear motion. And here we are given that a particle moving in a straight line travels half its total distance with a speed 10 meters per second and the remaining part of distance was covered with a velocity 4 meter per second for half the time and with velocity 8 meters per second for the other half of time. And here we are going to find the average velocity of particle for whole time of motion. Here in situation, if we describe the motion on a straight line, see the particle moves from point A to B. Then, say if the total distance is L, we divide the distance in two halves, L by 2 and L by 2. So, for first half we are given that it travels at a speed of 10 meters per second and say it takes a time t1. And remaining half say if it takes a time t2, we are given that for a time t2 by 2, it is traveling at a speed of 4 meters per second. For remaining time t2 by 2, it is traveling at a speed of 8 meters per second. And we are going to find the average velocity of the particle in the whole journey. So, here we can directly write the average velocity of particle as V average that can be written as L by T1 plus T2. And in this situation, we can write time T1 is equals to the distance is L by 2 which is covered at a speed of 10 meters per second. So, this can be written as L by 2 upon 10 which is L by 20. And if we calculate the time T2, this can be obtained in two parts. The total distance L by 2 is covered in two parts. So, we can write for second half of a journey. Here we can write L by 2 is equals to it is traveling 4 meters per second for a time t2 by 2. So, the distance traveled in this half time is 4 multiplied by t2 by 2 plus here it is 8 multiplied by t2 by 2. So, on simplifying we are getting the value of t2 is equals to this is 2 plus 4 the 6. So, this is L by 12. If we substitute t1 and t2 over here, we are getting the average velocity as L divided by L by 20 plus L by 12. Here L gets cancelled out and on simplifying this, we are getting the value 60 by 8 that is equals to 7.5 meters per second that is the final result of this problem.